Uh, from Gollan Smith, and we are ready to get it on. Doug Viney, doesn't it say something about him? The people's champion, every knockout in his career, or every win in his career, has come by the way of a knockout. Interestingly enough, uh, Dougie is a little bit heavier this year. He was more of a cruiserweight last year. He's heavier this year and more determined. You see that? Straight away. Ooh, what a cracker of a start from these two men. Oliver to a Sophia. You've got to understand also that all these guys here that are fighting tonight are all great guys. They're really friendly. They're humble. Right hand there from Viney. Outside guy kick from Viney. Both are orthodox fighters. Look out for the big kibosh off the right hand from Tua Sophia if he can plant it on the jaw of Viney. You watch the way that Dougie moves to the side. Nine career wins, nine knockouts for Doug Viney. The people's champion from the Liga gym. And a big hello to Hamish the Hammer and all the guys from the Rebel Liga crew and the Belmoral Liga boys. Dougie's Outside thigh kick from Viney, tags with a short left hand. Dougie's a quick fighter as well as very fast for a heavyweight. And as I say, he's up to 100 kgs now, a little bit heavier than last year. And he's happy to be at this weight. He's been training very hard for this with Lillard. Tried to wind up the axe kick off the rear leg there, did Viney. To a Sophia ties him up now. And Colin Smith separates both men. 1 minute 15 down here in the first round, set for 3-3. Three the last quarter final of the K1 New Zealand, the winner of which will face... Andrew Peck. Just the fact that Ollie's in this means that he has a lot of ability. Now, as, we, as we've said earlier, his experience may not necessarily be there, but this guy is tough. Thought about a spinning back fist there, did Doug Viney. Viney looks to be well in control so far. Tags him with a left hand, a right hand to the jaw. Nice double jab, right hand combination from Viney. To a Sophia doing some back peddling. Viney ties him up, knees to the sternum now. And a great work rate so far from Viney. Tua Sophia will never have come across the likes of uh, Dougie Viney before, so it'll be great experience for him. Step across the outside, by kick from Viney, then launching the big bird from the left hand. Here comes Tua Sophia. Dougie almost getting caught by that right hand that we've heard about. Will Tua Sophia land it? The big gibosh off the right hand. A lot of people would like to see him get it on here. He's got a big fan base with him. Really a relatively new fighter. So he's not used to the lead kicks either, so he's not really checking the lead kicks, but my goodness, he's putting on a good display. Into the final 30 seconds of this round. Viney looking very impressive so far. Outside thigh kick, that red and left thigh of Tua Sophia. Tua Sophia moves forward. Viney almost collecting with the left. Straight right hand, looking for the cranium cracker was Viney. Turns him around! Tua Sophia, is it all over? It is! It is good night, Irene! Doug Viney's amazing knockout record continues and he moves up against Andrew Peck, well, relatively what, fresh. Last year, I thought Dougie was good. This year, Dougie has improved amazingly. He has been fighting to be in the K1. He's been fighting to prove that he is the champion. Last year, I think he thought it was a little bit of a hollow victory. It wasn't the final that he wanted. He didn't feel he was the real K1 champion. This year he wants to be the K1 champion. Isn't it going to be a matchup with him and Andrew Peck? Well, it is the matchup everyone in New Zealand has been waiting for. And what a beautifully timed left hand to the draw it was from Doug Viney, the people's champion. And this is why they love him.